Germany's Minister for Economic Cooperation and Development has been in Burkina Faso this week as part of a trip to the Sahel. Svenja Schulze is the first European minister to visit the country since the latest coup took place. Burkina Faso is currently under its second successive military regime and its departure from democracy, just like its neighbors Mali and Niger, has prompted condemnation from the region and beyond. But the visit by the German minister and a delegation of the Western-led donor group called the Sahel Alliance suggests the door to engagement is not shut. Soil is dry as dust, not far from Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso. Extreme heat, little to no rain, and many people in this country are starving. And yet, in the midst of the depleted soil, successful farming is taking place. On this training farm, students learn to grow sustainable organic food. We are working to rebuild the soil to make it fertile with biofertilizers and plants that don't need much water. The project is supported by Germany. Jobs and aid against hunger for German development minister Svenja Schulze, a means to fight terror. In 2022, the military seized power. They are positioning themselves against the West, especially against the former colonial power France. Their new strategic partner is Russia. At 35, former military captain Ibrahim Traoré is the youngest president in the world. His goal? To regain control of the entire country, large parts of which are in the hands of jihadist terrorist groups. Two million people are fleeing violence and hunger. The young interim president rules with an increasingly heavy hand. Critics disappear or are sent to the front. Russia is present everywhere. At the same time, an anti-Western mood is being stirred up on social media. Disinformation campaigns also with support from Russia. These journalists work against fake news and want to reach young people in particular on social media with quality journalism. A Deutsche Welle Akademie project, also funded by the German government, Reliable information versus disinformation. Our work consists of contributing to an enlightened public opinion to give citizens access to verified information because they need this to be able to fulfill their obligations within society with commitment. The foreign minister of the military government explains that cooperation with Russia is a question of supply and demand. Russia is a partner that respects our decisions and the Russian offer meets our needs. These are the needs of the population, which is why I believe that our partnerships should increasingly fit into such a framework. We are two sovereign states, so we see some things differently. I emphasized once again how important it is for us that there is a move towards democratic elections and a constitutional state. These learners are preparing for their exams at a boarding school financed by Western donors, the Zahel Alliance. Investing in education is another way to combat the roots of terror. But there is still a long way to go. 6,000 schools have had to close in Burkina Faso because of Islamist terror. One million children have no schooling. Joining us on the program now is Germany's Development Minister Svenja Schulze, who's also president of the Sahel Alliance, and she joins us now from Ouagadougou. Welcome to the program. Um, you've had a meeting with Burkina Faso's military rulers. Why did you choose to meet them, especially considering Germany and the EU oppose military takeovers? Yeah, we would prefer to work with democracies around the world, but the fact is that most of the people live in autocratic, uh, autocratic systems, so we need to deal also with them. We want to fight climate change, we want to take care that people can stay home and do not need to migrate. And with all these questions, we need to work together in the world, and that means we also need to have an exchange with uh, governments uh, like that in Burkina Faso. 
that's not easy, but that is the fact we need to deal with. Mm. Germany's cooperation uh, with Burkina Faso now focuses on meeting people's basic needs. How far can that go under these conditions we're talking about? Uh, that's not easy. There is no black and white where we can work with. with. We know if we are not in the region, uh, there will be space for others and we can't leave, the, leave this region to the Russians. So we need to stay engaged. Uh, we need to fight against the terrorists. And to be uh, quite honest, terrorists, they don't build water systems. They don't take care for health systems. They don't take care for education. But that is needed for the future of this country. If we want to fight against terrorists, we need a perspective for all the young people here. And perspective, that needs jobs. That means a government that works also on the local level. And that is something we are working on in the Sahel Alliance, but also with our German corporation. Mm, so is that an acknowledgement that there have been problems on the military side and you think development is sort of the better way, the more effective way to go about tackling these problems? Yes, we need this development cooperation because there is no security without development. And so we need to tackle the problems of the people, why they uh, get in contact with terrorists, why they have no other perspective. And that means investing in jobs, investing in um, the future of the people here. And that is what we are doing with the Sile Alliance. 28 billion euros here uh, in the region. That is a clear reaction. That means we want to stay engaged. We want to be the better partners for the regions. How would you ensure accountability and the long-term sustainability of these projects? You know, you're talking 28 billion, that's a lot of money. Uh, but under uh, the current political climate in some of these countries, Burkina Faso and, and, and its neighbors, which are having challenges with democracy, Yes, that is a challenge also for us because we like to invest also in democratic structures. We like to work together with uh, democracies. But uh, here in the region, there are uh, autocratic systems and there are a lot of problems that we need to deal with. And fighting against terrorism, fighting against climate change, uh, that therefore we need to work together. And um, that is why we work with the regional level, we work with local authorities, we, we work with the ones who we are able to talk to, the ones who, who wants to continue the, the, the work with us. Uh, that is not easy, but I think that is the way we need to go to fight against others who want to take place in that region. Mm. I'm just wondering, as you say all of this, looking at Burkina Faso and, and these countries with those similar challenges, what is your biggest concern? Whew. I think there is more than one concern. I think uh, seeing how affected this region is by climate change, seeing such a lot of young people with no perspective, with no education, with no job perspectives. That is something that needs to change and that is something we are uh, working on and we need to work together uh, with the governments here in the region. We need to work uh, on the local level uh, to, to give a better perspective, more security, more education, more jobs, uh, because that is something that affects us all. So Germany, it seems to be far way but the African continent is our neighbor and what is happening here that affects us also in, in Germany that affects us in Europe uh, so it is a good advice to work together also with this region. Okay. Um, Svenja Schulze, German Minister of Economic Development. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much for speaking to us.